But while we are in a reasonable position at day three, with Delta, we believe it is too soon to draw any firm conclusions. There are a couple of reasons for that. The first is we don't yet know the spread of the virus amongst the contacts we have identified. Our public health teams generally ask people who are contacts to be tested five days after they were in contact with an infected person to ensure that we don't test people too early and therefore get the wrong result. That means we are still waiting on a large number of contacts to be tested and results returned over the coming days, which will help us to determine the reach of this outbreak. Also, as you will have seen, we're dealing with a large number of locations that we sadly know from experience do lead to more cases. Bars, schools and church services, where people are in close contact for long periods of time. We don't yet have all the results from these locations. Thirdly, we now know that we are dealing with an outbreak that isn't just isolated to Auckland, with cases now in Wellington, albeit linked. While they were picked up quickly, they came into contact with a case on Sunday, and obviously we were in lockdown by Tuesday. We still need to be very vigilant. Our contact tracing shows, in fact, we have hundreds who were at locations of interest who we know live and are isolating outside of Auckland. That includes in the South Island. So we do have people who have been at locations of interest across the country. Finally, because we are only in day three of our lockdown, when we are finding positive cases, their infectious period is still reaching back into the period before we went into lockdown. Now, soon that should stop being the case, and that will definitely help us get the outbreak under control and help us determine the edges of the outbreak. Till then, though, we just don't quite know the full scale of this Delta outbreak. All in all, that tells us we need to continue to be cautious and that we need more time before we have the complete picture we need to change our settings. So on that basis, the Director General of Health has recommended and Cabinet has agreed to keep all of New Zealand at level four until 11.59 p.m. on Tuesday, August 24, with a Cabinet meeting on Monday for us to determine the next steps thereafter. Going to Tuesday is a full seven days from our first case returning a positive result and gives us that extra time I mentioned that we believe we need. It's much better to assure ourselves now that there aren't further cases in the rest of the country than allowing the virus to spread easily at a lower alert level. And we've all seen what happens when you take that path. 